Let's continue by discussing privileges and custom roles. As I mentioned earlier, a privilege is a right reserved to perform actions in a specific area within the Dell Bimi platform. Some privilege examples are Atom Management. This is the Atom configuration and administration. It provides the read and write access to Atom properties and settings and allows the ability to download the Atom and Molecule installers on the build page. Developer provides the ability to create and publish new components using the Atomsphere SDK. Execute allows you to execute or retry available processes. By default, administrators are granted all privileges and the person who creates the account automatically becomes the administrator. These are the four default security roles automatically created for your account. An administrator has access to everything. The standard user has few limitations, and production support user and support user have limited roles. For a full list of privileges, they are contained in the reference guide under User Management, User Roles, and Privileges. Now, as a note, roles and privileges for specific Dell Boomi MDM applications are visible only to accounts enabled for MDM. The MDM Entitlements tab is visible only to users enabled for MDM to whom the MDM Stewardship Management privilege is assigned. Custom roles assign privileges not neatly fitting into the default role. They create more specific requirements and allow for complex privileges per environment user. This feature is available in Advanced User Security and enabled in Enterprise and Enterprise Plus Editions by default, and they are an add-on to the Professional and Professional Plus Editions. So let's examine a custom role. A user with the custom role defined below is not able to view the document option on the inbound and outbound data tabs. See the Run Document and Test Mode option for the inbound data tab. If the execute is off, they cannot see the rerun document option in the inbound data tab. If we create a custom role by turning the build read access on, the user is unable to create components and folders, rename folders, copy the folders and components, generate certificates, use the import button, run in test mode, edit components, processes, and process executions, delete folders and components, save components, and clone components. They also cannot install an atom or a molecule unless they have the atom management privilege. If the user has build, read, write access privilege and the build, read access privilege is turned on, the build, read, and write access privilege adds the ability to create, edit, copy, delete, and save components, meaning the user has full access to all actions on the Build tab. So let's move on to exercise number five and create and assign a custom role. This is in your book on page 11 to 13. Custom roles are created in the Setup menu, going down to Account Access, User Management. Once you're in user management, you will come over to custom roles and you will click on the plus symbol to create your role. We're going to call this role developer restricted docs and data. You want to give your role a comment. The description is restricted access to documents and data from executions and build page access. You can inherit a role, which means it will begin with the privileges assigned to a certain role. We're not going to be doing that. We're going to be assigning it three privileges. One is going to be build read access, which allow read access to processes and components. Execute, which allow us to execute or retry available processes. And the very last one, which is view results, which allow you to view and monitor process execution and activity logs. We'll click OK. When I click on the role, it displays the privileges below. Now we're going to assign this role to a user. I'm going to come over here and click on Users. 
The role, the user that we created for our class, which now has production and standard user support, we're going to check this and we're going to remove support of these two and assign it developer restricted docs and data. Now what I've done is I've logged out and I've logged back in so you can see what you have access to. With this custom role, I have access to the build tab. I do not have access to deploy. And if I come over to manage, all I have access to is process reporting. When I come up here to the setup section, when I come up to the setup section, notice that I do not have a lot of access. I have user information, email alerts, account information, and document tracking. So applying these privileges can really affect what people have access to. So now it's your turn to create and assign a custom role. Take a look and see what your custom role looks like when you create it. And when we come back, what we're going to do is we're going to talk more about privileges and how to assign an environment role.